This lesson we're going to have a look at Google Meet. So again, the top left here you can see meet.google.com. Now the other way to access this is if you're in your calendar, I can add conferencing using Hangouts and Meet, and that will automatically create a link within this event. So when that's saved, when I now decide to go to that event tomorrow and click on it, there's a link here so I can join by video with the app or I can join with my phone by clicking there and that's that automatically. So let's now go over here. This is Google Meet. So with Google Meet, big plus button here to join or to start a meeting. So if I want to join one, I just need to enter the code um, or if I'm going to start a new meeting, enter the nickname to start my own meeting. Uh, so. If you have the code, that's what you press. If you're going to start your own, just start your own. But if you're in here, go to settings. You can see which camera it's going to use. And you can see me popping up there on it. There's a default microphone. So it's currently using my plug-in um, microphone. Um, but you could also choose to use any of the other ones that are there. And then which speakers it's going to use when I'm talking in order for me to hear it. So lots of different settings there. So if you've got you know, things plugged into your computer, just make sure that the sound is going to the right speakers and to the right microphone during your meeting. That will work just fine for you. Uh, and then up here, this is for your help. So getting sending feedback and saying what's wrong for you. At the moment, I have nothing wrong. Okay, so let's just click here and start a meeting. I'm going to call myself Dan. Click continue. So once it loads, you can see what you will look like. Now, you have the option here to turn that off. Uh, you can also mute yourself before you join the meeting. So depending on what the meeting is like, you may choose to leave, that, leave them on or to leave them off. Okay, there's no one else here. The question down here is, am I going to be presenting to the meeting? Now, you can press that later as well if you like. You don't have to press that straight away. But for example, if you're going to use this for a webinar or something or to teach your class something at some point you might choose to click that and then it will just launch straight into you sharing everything but we'll just start by joining the meeting okay and now let's add people and i'm just going to invite myself there i am okay and then send the invite and so I will then get an email that has the link. So yeah, when so when you click that, they then join using they get an email with the link that they just got to click. And so I'm just going to turn my self on mute for my meeting and join in. And so now there's two participants. And hopefully that'll work. So now what I'm just going to do is turn myself off, get rid of my camera here on the phone. And so now you can just see I'm presenting to myself. So once you're in the meeting, you can, if you go to the participant, click here, find the other person. I can unmute them and I can also, I don't think I can turn on their camera, but I can definitely unmute them so that if they try to talk to me, I can just click that button or if they're making noise in the background, I can also click that button to mute them. You can see here, this is what they see of me in here. There's a chat function up here as well. So if I click here, I can send messages to them. It's particularly good if you need to share a link. And so these messages can just be sent back and forth within the chat uh, of the people who are there. Let's get out of that. So that's checking participants and the chat, and that's a picture of you as you're in here. You can obviously turn off your camera, you can end the call, or you can mute yourself. Over here is your nickname, so I can change my name. I can put an attachment, but this is also where I get the information for how to join the meeting. And so I could copy that information and email it to someone if I wanted to. Over here, this is one of the cool things about Google Meets, is that I can turn on closed captions. So without the mic on, now the closed captions, you can see them coming up there at the bottom, which is fantastic. If you are talking to anyone who has issues with hearing, they can then read what you're saying as you go. 
obviously this is going to be perfect but it's pretty good as you can see it's i love it i love google they have good speech recognition so that was good and then the other thing is that you can also click present now so if i present my entire screen it'll cut out so this is what i'm going to present my entire screen share my entire screen and so now for example i could go to my course that i'm presenting and just scroll through this presentation with them and they will see my screen as i go through and present this particularly if i click the present button that'll work even better and they'll see uh, me sharing this you can see down here if you want to stop sharing it or to hide that let's stop sharing but that's just if you're going to present something to your students you then want to go back to your meeting okay and the other options here click here i can enter full screen i can change the layout if you want to as well so do you want a whole sidebar do you want it tiled but there's only one person so i'm not going to get a lot of tiling there if you go to settings again that's your camera and devices that are being used and that's done and that's it for for meetings if you've got a google group set up you know you can just invite the entire google group by adding them here and then they all get access they'll all get that email link with the invite but pretty cool tool i particularly like using closed captions and i like presenting with google slides particularly if you use the feature in google slides slides when you present if you do presenter view and then also allow q a in there it works really really well this way so hopefully that'll work hopefully you found that helpful yeah.